In this video, we're going to learn about diluting a solution. We're going to learn the dilution equation, and then we're going to use this equation to dilute a solution. Now, chemists perform dilutions all the time. Dilutions are when concentrated solutions are made less concentrated. And aqueous solutions are going to be a solution that uh, has water as the solvent. And so a solution could be diluted by simply adding more solvent into the uh, solution to create a less concentrated solution. We usually measure concentration in units of molarity. That's this capital M right here. And it stands for moles of solute per liter of solution. And so if you increase the liters of solution, you're going to decrease this concentration, uh, resulting in a less concentrated solution, or in other words, a diluted solution. Um, many chemicals are purchased as concentrated solutions, and we call these stock solutions. And most chemical reactions are going to require a less concentrated solution than the stock solution. It's just a lot more cost effective to purchase stock solutions and then dilute to the concentration uh, that's needed. So for example, hydrochloric acid right here uh, comes in a 12 molar stock solution. And that means there are 12 moles of uh, HCl for every liter of solution. And that's a really concentrated solution. It'd be really rare that you would ever need HCl in that high of a concentration. So we'd have to dilute it. So to dilute this, we're going to have to figure out how much extra solvent we're going to need to add. And this is where the dilution equation is going to come in. This is what the equation looks like. And the C, each of these C's is going to stand for concentration and the V's are going to stand for volume. Now the 1's right here is going to stand for the initial set of conditions. This first part here is going to represent that initial concentrated solution, and the 2's are going to represent the concentration and volume of the diluted solution, what we're going to end up with in the end. Now a lot of times we use molarity as a concentration, so you'll see it written in this form as well, where instead of those C's, we just use capital M to indicate molarity. This is probably a more common way to look at it. So let's try using this equation uh, to figure out how to dilute something. So this problem says you need 500 milliliters of a 0.2 molar solution of HCl. How would you prepare this dilution from a 12.1 molar stock solution? First thing I like to do with a problem is just list the information that I know. Uh, I know what the initial concentration of the HCl is. That's this value right here. It says we're starting with this, 12.1 molar. And then we also know the volume and concentration of the final diluted solution. So we want to have V2, final volume of 500 milliliters. And we want M2, final concentration of 0.2 molar. And so the unknown here would be V1. And we're basing this all on the equation right here. That's where all these variables are coming from. Now, we know that we're going to have to add water to our stock solution and end up with a total volume uh, of our diluted solution of 500 mils. And so we need to figure out how much of this concentrated solution do I need to start with. I'm going to find out this volume. And then once I find out how much of this initial solution I need, I just add water to get it up to 500 mils. So let's solve for that V1. I'm going to rearrange this equation right here. And it's going to solve for V1. It'll be M2 times V2 over M1. And now I can plug in all the information I know. And I get an answer of 8.3 milliliters. So what this means is I'm going to take 8.3 milliliters of that concentrated solution, and I would add that to a container, and then I would just start pouring water in until I got up to 500 mils. And so just add in all of our water, diluting it up to that 500 milliliter mark and we have a diluted solution. Now if you're actually going to perform this dilution you're actually going to go ahead and dilute some concentrated acid. Just want to give you this quick safety disclaimer. Do not add water to concentrated acid. If you do that it's going to splash up in your face. My chemistry professor in, when I was in university, his name was Dr. Kunzelman, taught me a little rhyme to remind me of that. He said, do what you oughta add acid to water. And so in order to do a dilution 
what you want to do is you want to put uh, a little bit of water into your volumetric flask first. That's what this flask is right here. And if we wanted a 500 milliliter solution, we would simply choose a 500 milliliter volumetric flask. These work really well because they just have a little line etched in them and they're perfectly calibrated to the volume that you want. There's no other markings on them, just that one line, so they're specific to the volume you want. Once we add that little bit of water, just a little bit, maybe 200 mils or so, then you can add in that 8.3 mils of acid, and then you can continue to dilute up to the mark to get to 500 mils. Just a little safety thing, you don't want that splashing up into your face, and that's how you perform a dilution.